Hi, I'm Robert, and today I'm going to show you how to take this image from here to here, all in Lightroom. In this video, we're going to use the brush tool to add drama to the foreground and the spot removal tool to remove distractions. Let's get started at the bottom like we always do. Make sure you're on the current version. We're going to skip vignetting. Let's make sure this image is straight. Zoom in on the horizon. Press constraint and crop and bring up the grid. Right there looks pretty good. As always, we'll click on these two boxes to remove chromatic aberrations and enable our profile corrections. You can see we shot this with a Tokina 11 to 16 on a Canon 40D. I was using a three stop soft edge graduated neutral density filter to pull down the exposure over the sky. Now let's go to our standard sharpening routine of 100 and applying a mask so we don't sharpen the sky. Hold down the alt key to bring up the mask. We're going to skip the color section, but we'll come back to it. We'll leave the color temperature alone for now. Let's bring down the highlights and bring up the shadows. Now we'll adjust our white point and our black point down a little bit. I want to move the histogram to the right a little bit, so I'm going to use exposure to bring it up just a slight bit. I want to add more color and contrast to this image. So let's go up here to profile, click right here, and I'm going to choose this color matching landscape. When we hover over it, we can see the changes that it makes. It really punches up the colors and gives us a good starting point. So let's click that and close. Now we'll go and adjust our colors down here in the color panel. I always start with luminance. Luminance is the brightness of each color. So I like to bring them down. I want to darken the colors I see in the sky. So we're going to start with red. We'll go down a little bit. Also for yellow. And purple. And magenta. Now we'll go over to saturation and boost those colors up a little bit. A little bit of orange and red, also yellow, then we'll bring up magenta and purple. So we have our base edit applied. Now let's use the brush tool to fine tune this image. Let's grab the brush tool here and I'm going to start with this area of the cliff. So press O for overlay and let's paint in this area. That's good. Turn off the mask. We can click here to reset all of our settings. This area looks a little bit too warm and too yellow to me. So I'm going to bring down the temperature a little bit to make it more neutral looking. To make this area stand out, I'm going to add in some texture. Let's grab a new brush and paint in our foreground here. We're going to make different adjustments in this area. Click the overlay. That's good. Reset our tools. So we're going to bring down the temperature a little bit. Give it some texture. And give it a little bit of saturation too to make it pop. Now let's finish up this image with the spot removal tool. So we'll grab that. Let's start here by removing this sun flare. That's an easy remove. Now we'll zoom in. I want to get rid of a few of these people on the sand. And this blanket. Since these people are in such an easy area to remove, might as well. There we go. Now let's click down here, visualize spots, and zoom back out. If you don't have this toolbar, just press T for toolbar when you have this tool enabled, and it'll bring it up. So now with the visualize spots, we can see all of the dust in the sky, so let's take care of that. So now all the dust is removed. It was probably caused by a combination of my dirty sensor and also the filter I was using. I was using a cheap plastic high-tech graduated filter. I had a problem of flaring a lot. 
It also added a strong magenta cast to the sky. For this image, I'll just leave it in because I like the way it looks. But now I use glass filters that don't have a color cast. It's important to do your homework before you go out for your photo shoot. You need to know where the sun is going to be. I shot this image in November. During the winter time, the sun is farther out over the ocean and sets behind Catalina. During summertime, the sun would have been way over here and not being in a frame. Having the sun in the center of the frame really helps this image. There's apps online that you can check the sun position. There's many spots around Laguna that I only shoot during certain times of the year, such as summertime or wintertime, when the sun's going to either be way out over the ocean or farther north. I hope you found these tips and tricks helpful. Please like and subscribe. Thanks. Thank you.